So we're gonna build on that thing we did last week with the center of equilibrium. And we're gonna expand from that because we got a chance to play with that and feel just by exploring center of equilibrium and different postures, slowing down and bringing awareness to that, we were able to generate a tremendous energy flow. Ah, one more thing I want to talk about, and that is the importance of doing this, the importance of physically doing it because you need to have a vessel, your body, that is capable of handling the increase of energy that you're going to experience whenever you play with this stuff. Otherwise, you're just going to shut down and you're just not going to not going to practice or you're going to do something to to reduce the energy flow because it's it becomes uncomfortable if you do not have a sufficient uh, body mind that can tolerate that. So a lot of why I was talking about this stuff is, is to give you kind of a theoretical framework to, to make it a little more interesting than, yeah, Rick says to do this, so I do it. It's a, you can get more out of it if you understand what we're talking about here. So uh, let's, uh, let's actually step out and begin feet hip width. Feel the balls of the feet. Feel the weight throughout your whole foot. Knees are unlocked. Reach for the crown of your head. Tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate. So when you open the jade pillow gate, you reach for the crown, you the knee one, and you open the jade pillow gate, you activate the Jing, Jing Shen, which is the spirit of vitality. So raise your chin a little bit and just feel into that. And tuck it in. And Stretch your neck a little bit and open up that gap between the skull and the neck, that suboccipital area. And just notice the effect that has on your body. So we're gonna be playing with that a little bit as we do these, these exercises. Feel your feet again, feel the balls of your feet, feel your toes. Feel the, feel the floor with your toes. Relax your lower back and allow your coccyx to drop. And feel the elongation of the spine as you reach up with the of the head and reach down with your Wei Lu. Wei Lu is where you at the, the at the ganglion impar. That's where the sympathetic nervous system, the, the branches of the sympathetic nervous system come together in your coccyx into one point. Yeah. 
It's um, sometimes called the walking brain because it is uh, kind of uh, an epicenter in the nervous system where it uh, uh, controls a lot of your, your movement and also your posture, your proprioception. So having your, you know, activating your Wei Lu allows you to plug in a little bit more to the big chi, unkink the hose. Reach with your index fingers, feel your fingers, feel the chi in your hands. Shoulders are relaxed. Reach with your elbows. And feel your body mind filling with chi. Release your claw, get some claw spiral down, boom, boom. Feel that, just claws nice and relaxed, open. Arms are very, are relaxed, but they have a shape. They're not collapsed. So you want the elbows slightly rounded. The arms are, are very released. You're feeling the arms unwinding. It's like the muscles and the sinews are, as you relax the tension that you hold there is letting go. And sometimes going back, tension that's been there for decades. Feel into your hands and notice the response there. Feel the, the activity that's occurring in, in the hands, all that movement and stillness. One of the things about the jade pillow gate is it's not something where you just set it and forget it. This is something quite similar to the idea of, of pointing and reaching with your index fingers. You do it again and again and again and again. And each time you get a little shot of that Jing Shen. So it's as if you're meeting the insubstantial by changing your relationship of your head to your neck. So you just you open that jade pillow gate a little more and just feel when you do that, you get this burst of energy through your body mind. Like you can feel it, feel it filling up. Now feel the ball of your left foot. Set the left knee. And spiral down to the right, pivoting on the left, the right heel. And as you do that, Reestablish, reach again with the crown of your head. Reach down with your Wei Lu and feel that feel the effect that that has. Feel the, the, the vitality that gets released, that, that is activated. 
just for that simple action. Now feel the ball of the right foot. Push your right knee in, reach with your elbows, spiral down to the right as you sink into the right claw. Keeping your center equilibrium. Opening the jade pillow gate. Pick up the left heel. Sink a little more into that right leg. You're really trusting that right leg. Step forward with the left foot, keeping your weight, your substantiality in your back leg, in your right leg. And activate the jade pillow gate again. Reach with the elbows again, or your index fingers again. Feel the balls of your feet. You'll involve your left foot. Push your left knee forward and set that. Find the sweet spot. Play around with it and see, ah, oh, where's, where's, where's that ideal place? Spiral down to the right, releasing the quad, reaching with the elbows. Reach again with the, with the crown of your head. Turn the waist, body is centered. Let your right elbow point, and reach out with your right hand, reach down with your left. Reach with the crown of your head. Align those motions with that reaching of the crown of the head. And feel the connection throughout your whole body mind. This is how we get Jin. We are meeting the environment, both internal environment and external environment. We are creating a highly coherent environment. You feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right, reach with the elbows, sink into that right claw, pick up your left heel, feel the reach with the crown, reach with the elbows, Feel the power in this posture. And step back with your left foot without shifting weight. Feel the, allow your, your left foot to settle in. Piv turn so the, the left foot is pivoting out at a 45. Reach the elbows, left hand comes up, center line. And turn back to center, reach out with the left hand. About 90% of your substantiality is in your left leg now. Feel the connection from your fingers all the way through the floor. Feel the earth chi animating your arm, your hand, your fingers, extending throughout your whole body. <coughs> Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, reach the crown of the head, reach the elbows, spiral down to the left, 
Right hand comes up the center line. Going down to the left. Up the left heel, the right heel. Step back with the right foot. Turn that on to 45. Right ball, set the right knee, sprawl down to the right. And turn back to center and reach out with the right hand. Reach down with the left. Come on the toe of your left foot. Find your center equilibrium. Feel your elbows. Reach of the crown. To the ball of the right foot, set the right knee. Bow down to the right, reach of the elbows. Reach of the crown. Be open that jade pillow gate. Step forward with the right foot. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral down to the left. So you're stepping forward with the left foot, um, spiral down to the left. Left hand comes up and this time you're weighted in the left leg. Your left leg is substantial. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the left. Step forward with your right foot so the feet are now parallel. Bring your hands down. So as we do this, we can see that any motion can create jin, provided we meet, provided we align our internal and external environments in such a way as to create a coherence. We create a resonance with something much greater, which then amplifies our own field, our own personal energy becomes heightened. Feel the balls of both feet, set both knees, and turn your, reach out with your heels. So you're you're a little bit pigeon toed right now, and then turn the feet so that they're now pointing straight ahead. So now we have a horse stance, we have a ma bo. Feel the balls, set the knees, and sink. You want to feel your weight over the balls of the feet. Again, reach with the crown of your head. Open the jade pillow gate. Feel the jing shun. Reach with the elbows. Point with your index fingers. And sink a little more. Relax your lower back. Allow your pelvic bowl to align. Reach again with your your the crown of your head. And sink a little more. 
you feel into that. Reach a little more with your elbows, reach more with the crown of your head. Open the jade pillow gate. Feel the balls of your feet. Relax your lower back. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, loading up the right quad, keeping your center equilibrium, reaching with the elbows, reaching with the fingers, crown. Feel the stability of this posture. And step in. Feel the movement in stillness. Feel the microcirculation occurring in your blood vessels. As capillaries are opening up, reaching into parts of your body which are ordinarily underserved by your circulation. through the crown of your head. Open the jade pillow gate. Feel the balls of your feet. Feel your elbows, your tendons. Take a deep breath, your hands up. And as you exhale, disappear the chi. Dissolve, empty out. There's a point where even the chi is too substantial. Going into that emptiness. Allow the energies of your environment, with the big chi, to move through unrestricted, allowing the energy to fix whatever needs to be fixed, to energize and to revitalize. Give your body mind permission to receive the energy that's passing through you and to 
allow it to do its work. Become a grateful recipient of this gift. You know, all those thirsty cells receiving this bounty 